Emergency services send a lot of information and warnings to the community. But emergencies can happen quickly and threaten homes and lives within minutes. So it's up to you to monitor conditions, actively seek information and be prepared to act. The community and emergency services agencies must work together during emergencies. It's a shared responsibility. Emergency services send three levels of warnings to help you make decisions about your own and your family safety. They are advice, watch and act, and emergency warnings. The first level, advice, provides general information about potentially dangerous situations and developments. At this level, you need to stay informed and monitor conditions in case the situation changes. The second level, watch and act, is sent when an emergency threatens you directly. It means that conditions are changing and you need to take action. The third level, emergency warning, is sent when you will be impacted by the emergency. You are in imminent danger and need to take immediate action. A recommendation to evacuate may be sent out if there is an imminent threat to you and it is safe to evacuate. These warnings allow you to act appropriately and stay safe during emergencies, but don't rely on an official warning as you may not receive one. It's always safer to leave well before an emergency threatens you. Leaving late means you will be on the road when conditions are most dangerous. The longer you wait, the greater the risk to you and your family. So don't hesitate, don't wait. Ultimately, it's every community member's responsibility to seek information about emergencies. You can access real-time information by tuning in to your local ABC radio, commercial stations and some community stations, watching Sky News, calling the Victorian Bushfire Information Line, the National Relay Service or the Translating and Interpreting Service, visiting the Vic Emergency website, Downloading the Fire Ready app. Following CFA on Twitter and Facebook. Also, stay alert for sirens and telephone alerts. And remember, don't rely on an official warning. Actively seek information from a number of sources. Don't rely on just one. Speak to other members of the community about local conditions. And be aware of the risks in your area, especially during periods of severe and dangerous weather conditions. Your life is in your hands.